I searched parts from a junkyard to build a time travel project that went a little cuckoo. So with Dr. Beckett's theory that one can leap within your own lifetime on a fixed income, I entered the kitchen accelerator and... I found myself in another time. Facing mirror images that were not my own and driven by scriptwriters to improve lives. Roxy is my only guide, appearing as a hologram others can't see or hear. Unless they have similar brainwaves to me. Or under the age of five. Drunk. Nuts. On certain combinations of drugs. An animal. Or a computer. So I go on leaping from life to life. Striving to keep improving people's lives. And hope one day to find Dr. Sam Beckett. Uh, Proxy, it's me. Explain, oh, oh, you, you make my, everybody have fun tonight, everybody have fun tonight. The song changed while Steve was singing. During the Cuban Missile Crisis, launch codes to a U.S. warhead were leaked to the Soviet Union. It detonated in the city of Philadelphia. Here goes. Mr. Clatch, come with me. Uh, hey! What's the... Don't resist and don't ask questions. Oh, boy. <laughs> Of all my leaps, I never knew when I was leaping to. Until now. I was in Washington, D.C., being ushered into the Pentagon by two mysterious figures on October 24th, 1962. Sit. Where were you yesterday at 4.17 p.m.?
Come on, you're being monitored. Why? We ask the questions. I plead the fifth. Damn! He had to plead the fifth. Good idea. Leave Russ with me. Russ is the name of the guy you leaped into. Sure. I know of your plot to assassinate the president. What? Don't say anything. You're not going to get away with it. They're baiting you. What are you looking at? We know that's nearby. Where exactly, we haven't yet determined. We can do this all day. Only surefire way is to touch. What are you smiling about? I'm here to stop plans to an American warhead from being leaked to the Soviet Union. You expect us to believe that? I don't care if you believe it or not. That's why I'm here. I think you're here to kill the president. We searched your briefcase. And... We found some suspicious documents. Say nothing. We could kill you. Then you'll never get what you want. I'll let you stew in here for a while. Let me do all the talking. <laughs> You're Russell Clatch, born August 5th, 1920. He's younger than you. Hard to believe, I know. You work in the Pentagon as a CIA agent. In the original history, you exposed a plot to kill the president. Now. Being accused of it. Let me do all the talking. We're looking for a vet, but we're having trouble finding him. To catch a mouse, you need bait. Let me do. What are you thinking? I want to confess! How very sensible of you. Come here. Watch it. What is that scar? <laughs> Evets. So you finally came. Here goes. Wish me luck. I'm not gonna let you do it. You can't stop me. We'll see. Cold War escalates. World War Three. Goes on. U.S. economy crumbles. Soviet Union stays strong. Why? To draw you here. Trap. Yes. Are you okay? Fuck you. Last time I saw you, you looked like you were being tortured. Stop feeling sorry for me! 
Is something off between you and Treblin? I said stop! You have nothing on me. I just heard. Treblin is considering knocking Evitz off. Treblin wants you dead. That's crazy. He does, doesn't he? You don't know what you're talking about. When will Exor find out? I think she already knows. What does Dilbert say about the leak now? The leak doesn't happen. What are you doing? I'm taking Yvette's with me.